Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another fitness video. Okay, this video is per, uh, focused on our upper body strength. Okay, make sure you've already done the warm up video before doing this one. Okay, very important to warm up before you train. So, some equipment you may need for uh, this session is uh, something to lean against for some tricep dips, or if you want to make the push ups because of we're going to be doing all body weight exercises and push-ups are a great body weight, upper body exercise. Okay, so many different ways to do them. Uh, so to make them a bit easier, you can always use a uh, bench or something similar, like a windowsill. And uh, the other thing is a sturdy door frame. Okay, I'll show you the exercise in a little bit, but something that you can hold on to as we do one of our exercises. Okay. Great, so I'll, yeah, I'll go through all the exercises and then we'll get into the set. That way then, if you're, this is your, uh, you know, repeat visit to this video, then you can just skip straight to the set part of uh, the video or you can stay and watch again the explanation part, okay? So the first exercise is a push up into a side plank, okay? This is just for, of course, strength and a little bit of shoulder stability. Okay, so what we're going to do, right, is our standard push-up, okay, see, nice strong plank position like this, not dipping the lower back, eyes forward a little bit, leading with the chest, so I lower and then raise, and then I'm going to come up on one side to a side plank, okay, so trying to line these up and stabilize so I'm not too wobbly here, and then I, can't, I just get a little hold, and then back down, To the other side okay so that's uh, our first exercise then we've got our tricep dips okay so yeah your, your bench or your the, the seat into a chair whatever you're wanting to use okay then tricep dips always keep your bottom close to whatever you're leaning on so close to your hands now if it's something with a good lip like this then point your hands towards your toes if you're on quite a, a bit of a narrow seated chair or something like that, then you might need to sort of just grip around, okay? But as long as it's not hurting your elbows too much, okay? So, easiest version is to have your feet in close. Then the more you walk the feet out, the harder it gets, okay? So, of course, then it's just lower and then raise like this. Those are our tricep dips, okay? Next is our uh, door frame exercise. Okay, so all we're going to be doing, I'll just do them on my knee so I can stay in frame, right? Is we're going to have our knees, that will also make it easier, or feet if you're standing up, and then we're going to hang off the door frame. Now, if you, depending on the, your door frame, but a lot of them only have a small thing to grip onto, but it would be good if also you can go straight. We're trying to get some pulling work without having to have a pull up bar. If you've got one, of course, feel free to substitute that exercise, okay? If you can't go straight on, then side on is good, okay? It's important that we balance all of our pushing work, which is all our punching, with some pulling work, okay? So this is just getting some pulling. So, of course, the resistance is pulling myself back in, my body being the weight that I have to move, right? So we're going to get 10 each side like that, okay, for some pulling work. Okay, then we're going to go for some overhead push-ups, right? So this is our normal push-up sort of line for our hands. We're going to try to bring our hands up here. That'll get into our middle back a little bit, okay? So I'll show you a little example. Remember, we'll do a set. And we're only going to do five. These can be quite challenging, okay? So of course, if you want more challenge, then you just do the exercise, the whole set more, okay? So this is where I put my hands normally. All right, I'm gonna walk my hands out a little bit, and then I, at this instance, I am trying to almost get like my forehead between my hand, like this. Of course, the higher I walk my hands, the harder it will be, okay? Uh, second to last exercise is, again, some more shoulder strength sort of exercise. We're gonna be uh, making T's and A's and W's, right? So we're gonna be laying on the ground, and our hands straight like a T. I lift up my chest a little bit, and then I'm gonna just sort of pulse my hands up and down in a T shape. 
Then I'm gonna bring my hands down to by my side to make like an A, okay? And then we're gonna make a W, okay? And do the same thing, okay? So getting a little lift through the shoulders, T's, A's, and W's, like this, okay? So we're only gonna do a few pulses, but we'll go from one to the next. Our last exercise is clap push-ups, okay? So of course, on the up phase, try to get a clap. If you're struggling to do that, you can just do a little pulse off the ground. Right, so lower range, and then just get a little pop. Little pop like this, okay? And we're gonna do eight of those, okay? Like I said as well, you can do most, all those push-up exercises, even this one, raise, that would make it a little bit easier, okay? So we're going to do one exercise to the next, okay, till we're finished. Up to you then if you wanna repeat. Okay, but in this video, we'll just go through once. Okay, so you can always skip back to about this point, because we're about to start the set, uh, and just repeat it as many times as you like, or progress to a different video, or finish up your session with a good stretch. Okay, all right, so get ready for our set, starting out with our side plank push-ups. Okay, so we're just going 10 total, five each side. Okay, ready? And let's go. 10, all the way up, and a little hold at the top. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, okay, come over to whatever you're gonna lean on, all right, so remember, hands pointed towards the feet if you can, okay, keep your bottom close to your hands, and then you walk your feet up, but keeping your bottom close to your hand, okay, just 10, let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Excellent job. Okay, fantastic. All right, so now going into our door pull-up. So you can go on your knees or your toes to make it harder or easier. Okay, ready? Let's go. 10 each side, 10, nine. Get the hang to your arm is straight, then pull in. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Ready? Change the other side. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay? And like I said before, if we can come straight at it, because that kind of maps the, uh, the way our punch pulls back a bit more closely. But of course, work with what you got. Okay, overhead push-ups, just five. Okay, ready, take your position. And let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, our T, A, and W's, okay? So, five each. Going from T, then A, then W, okay? Uh, and then uh, we'll finish our last exercise, our clap push-ups, okay, ready? Lay on your belly, chest up a little, chin off the ground, make your T, ready, let's go, pop. Five, four, three, two, one, make an A, go. Five, four, three, two, one, make a W. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready for our clap push-ups, okay? Then feel free to repeat. Let's go. Just eight. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Excellent job. So either go back and do the set again or do a little bit of a stretch and then move on to another video or do a little bit of a bigger stretch if this is your final video. Okay? 
So shoulder stretches like this are good. Like this as well are good. Coming to that door frame again and pulling this way and this way like this and stretch your lats like this. Okay, and also turning in. Okay, you can also bring it higher too. That's for our shoulder stretch as well. Okay, so thanks for joining me. I hope to see you in another video soon.